Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I have the Star Wars Book of Boba Fett Cobb Vanth and Cad Bane 2 pack. Uh, this finally went on sale. I, I saw it and I wanted it, but I didn't want it for full price because sometimes these full price figures are a little bit insane, uh, especially for characters I don't have too much of an attachment for. I do like uh, both of these guys, uh, but to be perfectly honest, I don't have that strong of an attachment towards Star Wars in general. Uh, I have watched some of the series. I need to catch up um, on a lot of them. I haven't finished, uh, like, um, Andor. I haven't finished Ashoka. Uh, I don't think I even finished Book of Boba Fett, but I, that one I might have. And Mandalorian Season 3, uh, I haven't finished. I've started all of them, <laughs> which sounds stupid because you kind of have to watch those in chronological order. Uh, but I just, I don't know. <laughs> it's been a struggle trying to watch, uh, these series lately. I, I just haven't been able to. But, uh, I was actually introduced to, uh, Cad Bane and I, was it Mandalorian first? And then, uh, in Book of Boba Fett, they had their fight. Either way, uh, I was introduced to him in one of those series and I actually fell in love with him. I thought he looked so cool. Uh, I thought he looked wonderful on screen. I thought he had such a cool look. Uh, and then their fight together was super cool. I don't remember what actually happened. Uh, I know he lost the fight. Spoilers, I guess. But I don't know... I think he lived? But I don't remember. I think they left that kind of ambiguous. And then I don't know what happened after that. So I'm kind of like lost on where we're at with these two characters. Um, but yeah, I just, I fell in love with this character as soon as I saw him. Uh, and then once this two-pack came out, I really wanted to get mostly just him. Uh, but I know the single release was pretty hard to find, uh, and pretty valuable. So really my only chance at it was this two-pack. Uh, and then as soon as it went on sale, uh, I was like, okay, well... I'm gonna get that because that's cool and I like it and I I also like him I like Timothy um shout sh how I don't know how you say his name Timothy all I don't know uh I I like him I like his character I think this whole their whole storyline I thought it was fun I like western Star Wars I think that's a cool aesthetic a cool gimmick so uh, yeah, I guess let's go ahead and get into it. Starting with the front of the box, you have this nice image of the two characters right there posing and standing around and looking neat, I suppose. I don't know, this could look better, but I digress. You have a nice image of the two of them. On the side of the box, you have, um, um, <laughs> you have Cobb Vanth right here and, uh, Cad Bane up here. Cut off, of course, so there you go, now you can see him. On the back of the box, you have the same image as the front of the box, but it's also on the back of the box. You have a little bit of a bio right here. It tells you their story in all the different languages. You might need to read it in. There you go. If you wanted to read it, you can pause right there. On this side of the box, you have uh, the better artwork, I guess. Different artwork of the two characters. Looking pretty good. And now we're back to the front of the box. So we can go ahead and transition to the figures themselves. Okay, so this is pretty much all you get. You get... I would say enough with this two-pack right here. Uh, let's go ahead and start with Timothy right here because he doesn't come with as much. He comes with this nice little gun right here in his holster, which is now stuck. Uh, this one you can kind of tell different from the other two because this one has a taller uh, scope on the top. And it looks a little bit different across the board. It's a taller chamber or whatever barrel whatever i don't know much about guns but it's uh, taller right here in this section so you know it goes along with timothy's character thank god the packaging tells you what goes with what character because i could not tell you to be honest uh it, it, it lets you know this gun with this guy those guns with this guy this flame with this guy so uh if it wasn't for that uh just laying it out there i wouldn't know and i know of course a lot of star wars fans are going to be like fake fan and to be perfectly honest they are true they are correct 
Uh, I've never uh, had too much of an attachment to Star Wars in general. I do like it. It's just always existed as that thing that I'm kind of like, oh, that's cool. That's fun. I like it. It's neat. Uh, but I've never cared about Star Wars in any capacity. Uh, I, I just always looked at it as like this fun, cool thing that just exists in our world. But don't like ask me who Bleep Blor Bajor Bajor is, because I won't know. Um, and also, while we're at it with the packaging... Does that not look like a butterfly joint on Timothy's character right there? And then the actual figure does not feature butterfly joint. Or, I guess that's not technically a butterfly joint, but like an Omni joint. Um, technically, like one of those uh, uh, Todd McFarlane Omni directional uh, joints in the shoulder. It just doesn't have that. It shows it on the box. It is not there on the figure and I think that blows that is one reason I'm not a big fan of uh, windowless packaging uh, among other reasons of course I had to hit my phone just to say that um, but beyond that beyond missing that feature that is clearly advertised on the box uh, this figure looks wonderful I, I love the face sculpt you got that nice bearded cowboy look that Timothy has uh, this nice scarf here, which I assume is uh, removable if you pull off this head. If you pulled off the head, I'm not going to keep trying, of course. He fell over, so we'll deal with him later. Um, you have this nice uh, sweater that he had in the show, which I love the texture of it. Uh, it feels so weird, but I like it. Uh, you have the nice gloves that he has, the belt loop, everything. You can attach something right there. I believe that is a hilt for um like a lightsaber because i've seen that on other characters and they always have like a hilt right here that can kind of hold their lightsaber and whatnot uh the belt itself's a little lackluster it's lacking definition like paint details and all that and then he has an other belt right here uh the pants look cool nicely detailed i like the attention to detail there the boots i like the dust on his boots everything about that looks Wonderful, and if you wanted to, you can give him a little farmer hat. No, I'm joking. Uh, that goes on to this guy right here. And he also looks like a little bit of a farmer. I love the look of this character. I think he looks absolutely wonderful. You have these nice um, things, whatever they're called, that go from his cheeks to his back right there. And it actually, if you move the head, these move with it, so you don't have to worry I assume if you do it too much, if you're like a kid and you play with it too rough, this will break. But for right now, these seem to be holding up pretty good. I can move it. It doesn't seem to hinder it in any way whatsoever. Obviously, I can't spin it all the way around when I get to articulation, but you know. Uh, he has this nice long coat right here, which does cover one gun on this holster, but the other gun is a little bit more exposed. A little bit more of a quick access right there if you wanted, it, wanted access to that gun right there. Nice gun belt right here. All the bullets right there. Hangs on either side. I like that. It looks cool. Like his jacket up here. See, he has butterfly joints. And I don't even know if that was advertised on the box. But he does have it. Bullets here on his ankles. Which is an interesting spot to put them. But I guess um, load, him, load him up. If you, if you need them, there you go. That is a spot to put them. I would put them on here first before I put them down here but you know uh, I guess access to bullets in any situation where you might need them is positive <laughs> I guess so uh, no shame there nice gauntlets right here these are nice speckly blue gauntlets you can kind of see them sparkle a little bit and then this flame effect actually applies to both gauntlets, so it applies right there. You just attach it, and boom, now it's flaming. Uh, and now you can attach it to this one as well. Whichever one you want it on, if you want it on either arm, it will apply, and it looks good. Just do it like so. Looking neat. And then you also have these two flame effects for his pistols. So if I pull one out, and see what I mean? So this... Uh, Barrel is significantly shorter. It's also maybe a tad longer. This sight is shorter. 
uh, and also maybe a tad longer, and then you can take this fiery flame effect and you just plug it right on the end of that gun, and now it looks like it's blasting. Looking pretty neat. So you have two of those, one for each gun, so that is a nice detail. I didn't notice these had fallen, but now I'm fixing that. Please stop falling. Uh, and that is it for the look of the character. He also has these tubes on his arms, which are the same situation. They will move along with you, uh, I believe, on both arms. Well, no, this one doesn't have that tube. It has this tube, uh, which I don't think you'll have to worry about as much because it's just attached here. It's not crossing um, sections of the arm. It's this is on the forearm, and that is all you have to worry about. And then you also have this hat, which I mentioned, but just one more time, it looks wonderful. I believe that's the correct direction it, to face. You have these nice silvery bits, nice leathery look to it. I love the hat. I love the look of this character overall. Uh, Articulation-wise, uh, head goes back, head goes forward, I believe. Yep, it is on... Uh, joint down there in the neck, joint up here at the top of the neck. So you have different varieties of uh, rotation in the neck and articulation. It's looking pretty good. It does the things you want it to do. It kind of has a slouch to him. Arm comes up. Oh my gosh. I shouldn't push right there. Arm come up, comes up to about right there. Rotates all the way around. No butterfly joint despite advertised. Uh, single jointed elbow comes up to about right there. Uh, wrist goes down and up instead of uh, in and out, down and up, rotates all the way around. This one goes in and out, rotates all the way around. I'm struggling to <laughs> keep this in frame. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Ab crunch, uh, it's just down here in the belly, which I don't mind. It kind of swivels, it kind of sticks in some spots, but... It does ab things, so if you go back, kind of like that, I don't know, it's kind of hard to tell with the way it is. There we go, move that out of the way. Goes back a little bit, goes forward a little bit, side to side a little bit. Legs, add those into it, that's about 90 I'd say. Legs can come up to about right there. Does the splits okay, swivel at the thigh. Uh, swivel at the waist as well. Uh, single jointed knee comes up to about right there. That's fine, I suppose. Swivel at the knee itself. Swivel at the elbow itself, which I neglected to mention. Boot comes down, boot comes up, and that is Timothy's character all done. He got shot, so now he's going to take a break over there. Uh... Cad over here, his articulation, we've seen his neck a little bit. Like I mentioned with his neck, same thing. Uh, it It's down here lower in the neck, up here higher in the neck. So you have both varieties. He is butterfly jointed, like I mentioned. Which is interesting why he would have that, considering he has this giant coat which will get in the way. But he doesn't have that, and he doesn't have any coat to get in the way. Um, so... How should I showcase this? So the arm comes up to, oh my gosh, to about right there. Rotates all the way around. Uh, butterfly joint looks like that and that if you needed it to do that. A uh, single jointed elbow comes up to about right there. Rotates, of course, this will get in the way of that tube right there. So you can't rotate it all the way around like so. Same with the head. I assume his head will rotate all the way around if you wanted it to, but I... I don't know if I did that. Uh, ab crunch, going back like so, going forward, swivel side to side. Similar situations as Timothy over there. Leg comes up to about right there, like so. Um, these are getting in the way now. Oh, he he looks awkward if you <laughs> get him in the wrong pose. Uh, legs come up pretty high. Nice long kick right there. Swivel at, no swivel, okay. Swivel at the knee though, like so. Single jointed comes up to about right there, that's pretty decent I'd say. Ankle goes down, ankle goes up, and it swivels like so. And there we go, there's our two characters, they just had a battle and they're both dying. This was a hard one to review, <laughs> uh, but these are two cool characters. Don't think they're almost $50 cool. 
despite being a two pack, I, I I don't agree with that price. Um, maybe closer to thirty five, forty. I don't know, just because of how limited they are articulation wise. They are cool characters, so I'm not gonna knock them down too much for that. But you know, uh, not my favorite Star Wars figures, except for him. He he's up there. I do like the way he looks. I just don't love the way he. Uh, really articulates to be perfectly honest um, But yeah, so let me know what you guys think of them down in the comments below I really don't have very strong opinions on them just because like I mentioned I I don't care too too much about Star Wars, so it's hard to really Judge these characters outside of eh, they're cool. Um, it's kind of like just those random toys I buy when they're on sale uh, Just to, just to have them on the channel that's kind of how I, I am with them. I do have a little bit more of an attachment to these characters than those. Uh, like the He-Man characters. Uh, I really don't care about He-Man. But they're cool to show off on the channel. Whereas these, I, I do care about Star Wars. But I also don't have the attachment that some fans might have. So uh, I appreciate any input you guys might have. Let me know like where my failings uh, are. Like help me, help me um, judge these accordingly. I guess would be what I'm trying to to say here. So uh, leave a like, leave a comment, leave a subscribe. All the things YouTubers ask you to do, just do it for me as well. And I will be back with another video, hopefully very very soon. Bye.